Hey guys, it's Malia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here today. We're going to be telling a story and my stories seem to always end up crazy. Like, why can't I have a normal experience? Why does something always have to go wrong? Take a left turn? Like, I was just, this one was just a high school memory, but I still to this day, if you get asked like, what's your most embarrassing moment? Pfft, this is my most embarrassing moment. So if you guys want to hear my most embarrassing moment, stay tuned. And I know I do have some people from high school that watch my videos, so y'all will remember this one, I promise. So stay tuned, go ahead and sub hit, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get into it. Okay, so for this embarrassing moment, we are going to take it all the way back. We're going all the way back, folks. And we're going to senior year. At my school, we had rallies. And my school, after, like by the time my senior class was the senior class, the school had kind of died out of school spirit. Like, I remember I think the sophomore class had a lot of school spirit, but then nobody else. And like the seniors had a lot of school spirit, but it only showed when it like, we had like battled the classes and stuff when all that stuff was going on. But our school just really was not a lot of fun. And I was always trying to like have that high school experience. So I was trying to do anything, go to any prep rally. I um, cheered and danced in most of them, but any ones that I didn't dance or cheer in, I went to, I went to every school dance. I was trying to always be really involved in school because I wanted the high school memories. And so it got to my senior year. Uh, so it got to my senior year and the year's winding down. It's almost time to graduate. It's our last few memories together and it's Battle of the Classes. Battle of the Classes is like a whole week of games and spirit weeks and you want to get the most points for your class. You want to go all at all out so you get counted for your um for your team seniors we were red finally the school color was red so it felt really good to finally be red because you had so many red shirts and stuff from just being at that school for four years you didn't have like random blue or yellow or orange you know you didn't have an ugly color you had red like let's go and your seniors so you want to show everybody else what's good how it's going you know trying to show out and our school finally gave us a night rally <sighs> We had a bunch of stuff at school, but this was the first time we were ever going to have a night rally. And our rivalry school always had these crazy, sick, amazing night rallies. Like glow in the dark, neon, all white. Like, ugh. The other school was always having so much going on. And so this was our version of like, let's try to have a really fun night rally. So we had a glow in the dark night rally. Me and my friends get all cute. We go out to eat before, we have our little outfits, we're taking pictures, I'm in like this neon um, orange tracksuit with a glow in the dark shirt, like I'm ready to go, and we get to school, it's nighttime, it's dark, and we go in there, and okay, you know what, I'm not, it was fine for the first 30 minutes, we were playing games, we were watching, we were low-key, Losing so there's a lot of pressure on us like these these last few games. We need to be getting our points up. We need to be getting our points up And we just weren't getting our points up <laughs> And so finally one of they're playing music. We were just super lit in turn. We were having a good time no matter what but Then a game comes and it was like guess the song and it was gonna be a basketball court with the four corners, correct? And then you have a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, a senior, or whatever. I don't know which placement they were or whatever. But each of us were going to be in a corner, the mic in the very center. And when you knew the song, you had to run to the center and finish the lyric. Now, <laughs> in high school, I was always getting made fun of for posting on Snapchat just me lip singing. I would always be lip singing on Snapchat. That's why I love TikTok. <laughs> Because I just find my favorite song and I'd mount my um, phone up like either the way it is right now, something like that, or I'd put it on my dashboard in my car with like a magnet and I'd be singing and stuff and everyone would always making fun of me. But 
everyone knew that I was pretty good at knowing the lyrics. I had a pretty, I didn't have the largest music taste, but at least like if they were gonna be playing trendy music, I, I knew what the songs were. And so they're like, Malia, go out, Malia, go out. And I was like, whoa, no, I like watching these games. I don't really like being in them. <laughs> And so I'm freaking out. My friends are like, go, go, go. And I was like, you know what? This is for the seniors one time. I'm like looking at the crowd, looking at all the seniors like, I got this. We gonna get these points up. <laughs> I don't think you guys even understand what a left turn, like we about to take a major left turn, okay? So I go out there and I don't remember, this part is when it gets a little blurry just cause trauma, but I think it was on the very first go that this happened. I don't even think I got a chance to like prove myself before or even like, I think on the first song they put us in the corners and one of my friends was a junior and she was ready. I was looking at her like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> She's looking at me like, bring it on. I'm like, okay, okay. They play the first song. The first song. I'm like, I got this. I know this song. As soon as it plays, it just, I know it. And I start going and I'm running to that microphone. I'm running to that microphone. Oh, okay, so I do remember the junior, it, we were catty corner. So we were going like this. The girl that was my friend was across over here and I was up here. And so I'm running, I'm running, and I'm trying to get that microphone. She's running, she knows the song. She's running at that microphone. Everybody else is running, but me and her are going in. We are ready to go. <laughs> I, because I'm coming like this, I'm coming from behind the microphone. So I'll be perfectly behind the microphone to say the lyrics when it's time. She has to kind of get in behind it because she's coming from the front of it. She, we're both getting up on this microphone and I'm like right there behind it and she's still running and her momentum pushes her and she grabs the stand and she pushes the stand back just out of her momentum. It wasn't anything malicious, but the microphone went on loud blast into my eye, made the whole room, like, you know, like if you smack a microphone really hard, it goes into my eye, making that sound. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, a solid microphone just like hit my eye and I literally can't open it. Like it's just watering and watering and watering. I cannot open it. The room is silent. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, everybody's just looking at me. She didn't finish the lyric. Everybody's like, it just boomed in my eye. <laughs> I'm standing there and the, there's lights like coming on us and I'm like holding my eye and I cannot see. And then one of my friends from ASB comes to me and like just pulls me off because he can tell that I can't see. He's like, oh, go this way. Like, <laughs> and so he like escorts me off the court. And then my friends who are in the stands who just witnessed this as well as the entire school and faculty they come, my four friends come to the bathroom and they're like, are you okay? Oh my God, what happened? And I'm, this is just what happens when I get mad. Like, even though like it was nobody's fault, I'm like, you guys made me go. Why'd you make me go out there? This would have never happened. And like graduation was like a week away. And I now am in the bathroom seeing mic marks. Like, you know, the print on a microphone? I had those marks all around my eye, cut and bleeding. My eye is already swollen on the very corner and it's like bloodshot red and just won't stop watering, just won't stop watering. I'm like, oh my God, like I'm going out there looking like this. Like it's so not cute. I am freaking out. I'm like, you guys made me go, you know, I don't do stuff like this. No, 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 no. They're like, Malia, I'm sorry. I didn't think this was going to happen. Are you okay? And then they're like, okay, we need to let her cool down. <laughs> so I went in the bathroom. And I was just like trying to clean myself up, clean myself up. And then my like best friend, she was like, are, are you good? Do you want to just go? Like, do you want to go back out into the crowd? Do you want to go home? 
and thank goodness I'm in the bathroom with my friends and they're still playing the game out there. I'm like, okay, at least they don't like hear me, you know? They continued the game, they got another senior out there and I'm just like, oh my God, well how much longer of this, uh, this assembly, this prep, pep rally going? Luckily, luckily that was the last game. They wrapped it up, they announced like who um, won for the night, like the competition wasn't over it still was going to go on for another like two days but for that night like who was walking away with the most points i believe it was the seniors that's not a big part of the um story but then i come out of the bathroom and like the lights are on the rally is over and like i see the freshman looking at me like oh my god is she good oh. sophomores like oh juniors oh no my the girl that put it in my face, um, <laughs> that put the microphone in my face. It's like, Emily, I'm so sorry, oh my God. Thank God, prom was the week before. Oh my God, so then I'm kind of talking to my friends, but I wanna get home. I'm like, I need ice on this, like it's already like swelling shut. I get home, I come through the front door. My dad thinks I've been in a fight. He's like, oh my God, what happened? I just burst into tears crying like, that was so embarrassing. The whole school just saw that. I'm gonna be all over Twitter. I'm gonna be all over Instagram. Which I kind of was. I definitely made it to like a few sophomores and freshmen Snapchat stories and Instagram stories. I don't think anybody that like I was friends with posted, of course not. But like <laughs> the younger kids are like, oh snap, you know? So I go home, I clean up. The next morning, I wake up with a solid black eye, bruising all the way down, swollen in the corners. I will insert some pictures here. Um, yeah, insert pictures. So the next day, the next like two, three days, they were still like where you wear fun clothes to school. So like the next day was meme day. So I went like dressed like a boy and but then I had tons of just Neil Sporin on my face because it was cut still too from the mic marks. So it was bleeding. I didn't want to scar. I have like all this Neil Sporin on my face and I'm a meme so I can just like cover up my face to like represent my meme. I don't remember what the next few days were, but then on the last day it was all red and we did like the eye black. So I just put mine up like really high. Again, I'll insert some pictures if I have them still. But yeah, luckily graduation was like two weeks away and prom had just, just happened. So I like had that perfect middle, but I definitely was embarrassed. And my teachers the next day at school, they're like, Malia, how are you? Are you okay? I saw what happened. Uh, and I'm like, do you see me? Like, no, I'm not okay. Like, my eyes swollen half shut. <laughs> but it was just awkward, especially when professor or teachers would ask, like, in class, and everyone's looking at me like... But yeah, that was my most embarrassing story. I tried to keep it short, but I ramble on and on and on. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now you know the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me. And that's not even the most embarrassing, that is the most embarrassing thing because it was front in front of the most people. I had an audience, but I do embarrassing stuff and embarrassing stuff like that happens to me all the time. So if you want more story times, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and comment down below that you wanna see more story times because your girl has lots of stories. I can keep going. But that is it for now. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, a Twitter, all that good stuff. It's always linked down below and stay tuned for new videos coming every week. I'm trying to stay consistent, folks. Bye, guys. Love ya.